Turns out that Guilds of Ravnica actually has some secret split cards in it, and when you see them, your jaw is going to drop. Owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles, less than an hour ago, I was sent information and photographic evidence of these new split cards. So for those of you who don't know, because I know there's some people who watch my channel who actually don't play magic, I'm going to give you some context so you understand what the split cards are. They are special magic cards that are designed in a way where you end up with two magic cards printed on one. We'll start with that. They came out in Invasion, so I'll put up a simple one to start with. You've got Assault and Battery, all right? So you've got your two options here. You've got your red and your green spell. Clearly, they have two different effects. You choose which of these halves you want to play it as. They're, they're interesting cards, right? They were introduced with a very simplistic sort of uh, concept. Each card has its own individual name, but you throw the and in there because it makes sense, right? It's assault and battery. There, there are different variations of these. They brought the split card back. Now, I like these. There's just something about these tiny little miniaturized magic cards that's enjoyable to me. I would actually play with a tiny little deck of magic cards. So I enjoy just the aesthetics of that. But they, they went along and they kept tinkering with the concept of uh, the split cards. Now, they did do some in Planar Chaos where they had split cards, but they were like all red. So both sides were red. Um, the Unset actually had a hilarious five card split card that had all these different pieces, the who, what, where, when, why. And that's a really fun card too. Dragon's Maze um, took the split cards a step further and went ahead and created the concept of Fuse. And you can see this on Breaking and Entering, where you can choose to either cast the Breaking Half or the Entering Half, or you can use the Fuse option and get both. So that was fun. And they each time they bring back these split cards now, they come up with a, a new twist on it, which I like. So when they brought them back again for Am and Ket, you have the Destined to Lead, and these are the Aftermath split cards. And the reason that these look visually different is because they function differently. Instead of picking one side to play, you play the top half, and then once it's in your graveyard, you can then use the second half. So there are all these interesting variations, and then we get to Guilds of Ravnica, where we have the new split cards, right? Where one will have the hybrid mana effect, and then you have the multicolor mana effect on the other side as well. It's, uh, it's an interesting proposition and funnily enough to note they did accidentally leave some of the rules text off of one of these the name of it escapes me right now but i'll put it up on the screen take a look at the the first side here on the left if you'll notice the effect of switching the creatures it does the switching the creatures power and toughness it doesn't end at end of turn it would be a permanent switch so that's been errated and it's been a long time since wizards is screwed up like that but i bet you're saying to yourself look you're running your mouth a lot talking about split cards what about these new hidden split cards let us see them well get ready to pick your jaws up off the floor because here we go guys the new secret variation of split cards only available in guilds of ravnica grand reveal right here here we go yeah 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 that's what you're looking at right now how does it feel how does it how does that make you feel how does this absolutely abysmal card quality make you feel. These are the new secret split cards for Guilds of Ravnica. Don't feel quite as exciting and innovative as the stuff that we went over. Does it? Does it? Oh my god, guys. I thought that the card quality was improving, okay? They pulled the wool over my eyes with Dominaria and Corset to a degree, apparently, because things are abysmal. They're making mistakes everywhere it's actually kind of hilarious they make mistakes leaving text off the split cards this sort of printing error and i just discovered that in arena they screwed up the payout to some of the highest winning parts of events that people could pay money to get into it's mind-blowing we're going to cover that we are going to cover that in a live stream we're going to talk about all the arena updates we're going to talk about the fact that the icrs weren't paying out correctly for high level winners in, in events that you can pay to enter, it's just, 
oh my god, they're screwing up all over the place. So I thought this would be a fun way to show you guys just how abysmal the card quality is. Yeah, I know I've left these split cards up on the screen for a long time, but you just need to look at them and see them for what they are. Because good god, this is absolutely abysmal. So that being said, that's all there is to cover on this. Let's check in with the six color of magic. And together, we are the sixth color of magic. All right, time to roll that golden scroll. Thank you for being my golden lords. And welcoming the newest member, Sean Montabano. Your last name sounds like a big fat cigar. I should have a big fat cigar right now to smoke. All right, thanks for joining up, my friends. Or my friend, I should say. What's next? What do you want to do? Do you want to do some magic lore? Or do you want to come over and see the brand new hilarious video on my other channel? The choice is yours. And I'm history, baby.